Hello everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is July 3rd, 2010, and I am Darko, and I will be covering this article that was posted on June 25th, 2010. So it's already, what, seven days old, a week old, but, uh, you know, I keep it as a favorite on my um, browser, and then when I get a chance, I like to come back to these articles and cover them, because I feel that I feel like you know they're pretty important and they should be covered but I don't always have the time to do it the title of this article is called report childlessness at record high in US a new study from the Pew Research Center shows that childlessness is at a record high in America one in five women aged 40 to 44 reported that they are never that they've never had children meanwhile just 41 percent of Americans say having children is necessary to a good marriage compared to 65 percent in 1990 in other words more people today are saying that children are bad or you know uh, children is not really part of you know getting married in that than they did just uh, what 20 years ago and this is uh, this is a trend and um, my reasoning for why this would be would be of course the economic warfare that's being carried out on the American people since the 90s which is the uh, globalization the tech bubble the housing bubble 9-11 um, devaluing of our dollar almost 50 percent you know it's just it's madness and um, as uh, is the news titans on the American people, uh, they will have less children because it's not economically viable. And that's part of the economic warfare. It's not just economic warfare, but it is eugenics. And it says the study suggests that the two trends may well arise from relaxed social pressure about having kids. And so of course they apply it to that. In a striking shift, women with advanced degrees are bucking the non-babies trend with a higher percentage of them having children than in years past. Though childlessness as a whole is still highest among women with advanced degrees, rates of childlessness among women with master's degrees decreased by 17% since 1994. It also declined by 32% for women with professional or doc doctorate degrees over the same period. 9% of all women held advanced degrees in 2000. So that's kind of odd, you know, the women with the master's degrees, uh, uh, you know, as far as childlessness uh, actually fell. And that's actually kind of a surprise to me because um, as you move higher in the universities, um, as far as getting your master's or your doctorate, you get closer and closer to that elitist um, propaganda of uh, population control and uh, global warming and eugenics and uh, all that source of uh, social, uh, what do they call it, uh, philanthropy and that. So it's kind of surprising me that it would actually go down uh, as the education goes up. But it says, meanwhile, the rate of childlessness has increased most sharply among the least educated women. And so, uh, just following up on this last paragraph, well, these, are, these women have the most money. These people don't have that much money. It says, uh, the rate of childlessness has increased most sharply among the least educated women. The likelihood that a woman without a high school diploma will be childless after 40 has increased 66% since 1994. It says, though, though white women are most likely to be childlessness, rates of childlessness among Hispanics and blacks have increased by 30% since 1994, compared to only 11% for white women. Scholars say that social pressure to bear children appears to have diminished for women and that today the decision to have a child is seen as an individual choice, Pew researchers uh, said quote, improve opportunities and contraceptive methods help create alternatives for women. Improve opportunities mean uh, maybe uh, in the workforce they're able to get jobs. Uh, improve opportunities mean Planned Parenthood, uh, state-funded abortions, stuff like that. 
I would imagine the study dismisses the increasing popularity. Oh, and uh, the social pressure as well. Um, yeah, it's it's just socially to have children. I mean, you remember the the, the story of the the woman who had the quadruple quadruplets, whatever the hell it was. You know, what I'm talking about the woman that had all those babies. It was like a quadruplets of artificial insemination and then they just demonize that whole story now do i think that she should be doing it no but at the same time people should really be allowed to have as many children as they want um but uh, i do feel that it is kind of demonized uh today it says the study dismisses the increasing popularity of in vitro fertility so here we go i was just talking about this the study dismisses that and the treatments for over the over 40 set and assumes that women age 40 to 44 who have not had children, who have not had a child, will never have one. So in the final, final four minutes, I'll cover some other uh, information here on this subject. And this is from Slate.com, titled, First Housing Bust, Now Baby Bust. And of course, the housing bust was manipulated. Um, and it was a big Ponzi scheme, so it wasn't done by accident or error. You could say it was greed, but it was done purposely in order to consolidate power and, uh, and, and wealth and territory and resources and infrastructure and to uh, devalue the dollar, get it from being the reserve currency. So in other words, this was all, you know, by threat of martial law to pass the stimulus and the bailout and steal 20, at least $20 trillion, according to Bloomberg. All done on purpose. Now the baby bus. This is all done on purpose. It's called population control says, is the recession causing a birth dearth? See, financial warfare causing eugenics. So it's backing up what I'm saying, guys. And it says, uh, Pediatrics owns uh, group practices of neonatal specialists and employs 1,000 physicians and 400 nurse practitioners. And it basically says that uh, they end up caring for about 2% of the babies born in the United States. And it basically goes on and says, but uh, birth... Births rose uh, 1% in 2005, 3% in 2006, and, um, and then it basically goes on. It says the company reported that in 2007, the same unit uh, rose 4% from the 2006 fourth quarter. But it says this year things are going poorly, and it says, suggests that one of two things, either significantly more babies are being born without the need of neonatal care, or as the housing slump began to take a bite out of the economic growth last year, Americans began to cut back on their fruitful reproductive activity. And it goes on and says, the company generates more than half its revenue in five states, Arizona, Cali, Florida, Texas, Washington. It says the economies of the first three have been hit especially hard by the housing meltdown. And, uh, and you move down here, it says it's hard to really isolate it uh, with different uh, factors. But it says the micro, uh, macro, sorry, economic climate definitely has an impact. And it talks about how during the Depression, birth rates fell. I just checked that, and that is true. And, of course, you know, in the Depression, that was all manipulated, right, by the banks. 13, 1913 uh, created the Federal Reserve System, and tw exactly 20 years later, 1933, they, uh, when Roosevelt uh, took over, they were, uh, our country was bankrupt, and uh, Social Security began. So what are they doing now? They're going to raise the Social Security age. That's right. They want to raise the Social Security age because of an aging population and uh, a lower uh, fertility rate. And you can go in and you can check this. I'll post the link. Is that online.com? Posted November 27, 2009. It says uh, economy delaying births with a baby and a six-year-old Sarah Sheeter has her hands full. Having another child is not in her plans, especially since tips at her waitressing job dipped with the economy. I just don't make enough money to support any more kids. A Guttmacher Institute report showed nearly half of women surveyed said they want to delay pregnancy while 64% said they couldn't afford to have a baby because of the economy. And then when you look at this, this little uh, nice little eugenics um, department, Planned Parenthood, which used to be considered theosophy or eugenics, there is no doubt that the economy is directly affecting the women in our community. Of course it is. That's what it's supposed to do. The fact of the matter is, is that the New World Order, the elites, they don't need this many slaves. They only need a few slaves to operate the machines that are just dumb enough to be able to operate them, like George Carlin said. That's it. There's too many people, and they don't need them all. Please join me on part two. Thanks.